Hey everybody, how's it going today? Uh, today I'm going to show you my uh, Canon 7D workflow uh, using iMovie 09. So the first thing is, uh, let me just show you what I use in uh, for card readers. Uh, I use the Lexar Firewire 800 card reader right here. It's a really great card reader and it, uh, and it uploads uh, movies and, and images really quickly. So I take the CF card out of the camera, place it into the Lexar reader, and connect it to the uh, MacBook Pro, as you can see right here. When you do that, you'll be you'll get a icon right here, an EOS digital icon. You want to double click on that, and then this window will open. Then you click on the DCIM file, double click on that and also double click on the uh, 7D folder right here and that's the movie we want to edit in iMovie 09 so the way I do things is uh, right up here I have four folders that I created one is the 24P raw footage 30P raw footage 30P movies and 24 movies so the 24P and 30P movies are the completed movies completely exported out of iMovie 09 and then you have the raw footage that comes straight out of the camera. So since I shot this on uh, 24P, I'm going to put it in the 24P folder. So I'm just going to take it and drag it into the 24P raw footage folder right here. And there it is. Now we can close both of those up and open up iMovie 09. Okay. Once you open iMovie uh, up right here, you're going to go into File, and you're going to go into Import Movies. Find the movie you want to you want to import. There it is, right there. Let's just call this test. So right here, you want to check mark the uh, right here this box, which is which is Optimize Video. You want to do this because it's going to convert the uh, codec that comes out of the camera, which is H.264, and it's going to convert it into AIC, which is a lot a better codec to, to use in iMovie and in basically any editor, uh, because the H.264 codec out of the camera is terrible to... Don't even bother trying. I've tried it. It doesn't work. It uh, stutters and it... it stops and uh, it crashes on me and everything so don't even bother so just make sure to check mark optimize video then you want to choose full size video right here full original size and let's import it this is just a quick clip that I just did right now out of my living room window right here just to show you for this tutorial it's not actual footage that I'm going to be uploading uh, to YouTube So now it's so now it's converting the H.264 into AIC Apple Intermediate Codec, and there we go. We have our footage here. So let's just quickly do a quick little clip here, a few seconds just to make it quicker to export. Whatever, three seconds, and let's drag this into our project right here, and there it is. Okay, so let's just. Let's just imagine this is all done, edited, and it's you know your your completed uh, movie. So once you're finished, you're gonna go in, into Share and Export using QuickTime. And again, let's just call it Test. And let's go to Options, Settings. So the compression type right here, I always use H.264 because it's a it's a great uh, it's a great codec to finish your project with and especially if you're gonna upload to YouTube or any other uh, place on the internet it's great so then you're gonna go here where you have frame rate you're gonna use uh, current keyframes every 24 frames and you're gonna check mark frame reordering compressor quality I always use best but you can also put it to high if you want encoding best quality multi-pass data rate I always just use automatic and that's it 
Okay. Uh, size. The movie was shot at 1080, but I don't really need 1080 for YouTube, even though they do accept it now. 720 is fine. It's just quicker right now for this uh, tutorial. Uh, so 128 by 720 I'm going to choose, but you can do the full now because YouTube is accepting full 1080. Sound settings, I use AAC, stereo, and 48 uh, KHZ. Quality, render setting quality, I, I always just use normal, but if you want you can even go up to best. Target bitrate, I use 128, but also you can use 160 if you want. And that's it. So once you're done, and here, prepare for internet streaming, I always use fast start. Okay, and okay. And then just save it, and it will export this uh, finished video and put it uh, onto your desktop. I chose desktop, but you can choose a different file if you want. This should go fairly quickly. I mean, it was only a three-second clip, but it takes time. I mean, I'm using a MacBook uh, Pro, a 13-inch MacBook Pro 2.26 with 4 gigs of RAM. So it's definitely not as as fast as it can be if you have a quicker uh, Mac MacBook or especially if you're using like a Mac Pro. But yeah, I do plan on getting the new 27-inch iMac, the i7 uh, quad-core. So that'll make things a lot easier. And here we go. We're, we're finished. We can get out of iMovie. And there's our video right here. Okay. It's right here. So this is our finished video here. So now you can just click on it if you, if you want to watch it. I mean, it's just a couple of seconds of outside, outside of my window. So there you go. That's the completed movie. All right, let's get out of that. So that's it. Now, when you have the completed film right here, video, whatever, you can uh, you can go into your YouTube uh, account and uh, and upload it. It's as easy as that. I mean, um, it's a very easy workflow to follow, and it uh, works for me. I mean. I guess Final Cut Pro is, um, you know, a lot more refined, a lot more things you can do with it. But for just basic videos, I mean, 9 Movie 9 is fine. So, you know, that's it. If you have any questions, uh, comment, uh, rate, and please subscribe. And uh, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this, and I'll be seeing you soon. Take care for now. Bye.